Have you ever had to decipher the design intent of a SOLIDWORKS model you hadn't made? Was the original designer nowhere to be found? SOLIDWORKS has built-in functionality to document and preserve the design intent of any model so that you never need to be in a time crunch. In this three minute video, I'll show you three quick tips that you can use to preserve and automate your design intent and make it stand out as well. Let's start with the simple bracket. As you can see here, the designer has made a beautiful part but without the upper assembly of the part or any comments, the design intent is not immediately known. It's no secret that the easiest way to solve this problem is to find the original designer and ask him, but what if the original designer is unavailable and you're in the middle of a design review with your superior? This is where equation-driven modeling can help you in a crunch. Equation-driven modeling helps the user to distinguish critical dimensions from others and stores them in a separate folder in the design tree for your ease of access. In order to create an equation-driven model, first you must log your equations and variables into the SOLIDWORKS model. This can be found here. Once you have logged your equations and variables, you can now reference them in any type of dimension in the model. Adding equations to drive the dimensions of your model allows other users to instantly recognize critical dimensions and the corresponding design intent. Plus, it will make any user think twice before creating any unwanted edits. Another great way to express design intent of the model you've created is by adding comments to features within the model. Adding a comment to a feature is simple and can be found here. Once you've logged your comment and described the design intent of the feature, it is organized into the comments folder at the top of the design tree. Here you can see all of the comments that have been logged into the model and you can easily view them to see critical data. While commenting does take up time, it is a quick and easy method of explaining and conveying design intent. Since you used equation-driven modeling and feature comments, you successfully avoided looking unprepared, but all of a sudden, your superior throws a curveball straight down from the top. The big boss has changed the scope of the project and the design now needs to have multiple different iterations of the part and varied dimensions as needed. With SOLIDWORKS design tables, this curveball is a piece of cake. By adding an auto-generated design table, the user is able to use Excel-based logic to iterate, alter, and manipulate the dimensions of the existing model and new models with ease. Design tables are a very efficient way to create iterations of parts in an automated way.